Also this morning, we are learning a second woman has come forward accusing San Diego County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher of sexual misconduct. Thanks for being here at 6 a.m. I'm Eric Connard. And I'm Netta Irampour. Glad to have you with us here. And this all comes as Fletcher announced when he will be resigning. CBS 8's Chris Grow live along Harbor Island with these latest allegations. What are we finding out, Chris? Yeah, good morning, Eric and Netta. And look, in light of this second allegation, we spoke with the woman at the center of this one. She was actually back in 2015, a UCSD student and, a, and an intern for Nathan Fletcher's nonprofit foundation, the Three Wise Men Foundation. Now, she says that it was in working with that foundation out of state that she claims that Supervisor Fletcher inappropriately touched her. Now, we brought those allegations to Supervisor Fletcher's office, and his office sent us back this statement, which in part reads, quote, these accusations are false and clearly not true, as verified by others at the event and emails from the time. This is just piling onto an existing media frenzy. Now, those emails were also forwarded to us from 2015. In them, Fletcher is informed of the allegations by his former assistant, Kaylee Wilson. She's the one who goes ahead and informs Fletcher of the intern's allegation. She describes them as bizarre and adds that she even counseled the intern on the trip. They discuss the details and Fletcher adds that he does not want her to intern for them anymore. The former intern denies being let go and told CBS 8 she left on her own. She says she filed a report with UCSD Sexual Assault Resource Center. We asked UC San Diego about these allegations and they released a statement that said that Fletcher is not teaching at the university anymore and that they take allegations of sexual harassment and sexual violence seriously. Now, in the wake of these recent allegations, again, this is the second one, the first one coming from an MTS employee, a former MTS employee, Fletcher has announced that he will resign from the County Board of Supervisors effective on May 15th at 5 p.m. He is currently out of state, though, in rehab for PTSD and alcohol abuse. Now, there is one civil suit that has been filed against Supervisor Fletcher, that being by the former MTS employee that has also accused the supervisor of sexual harassment and sexual uh, other abuses. Uh, at the same time, the second accuser says that they are currently seeking counsel on what to do next. So no lawsuit by the second accuser has been filed as of yet, but we're going to continue to pay attention to any further developments. Eric and Netta. All right, Chris, thanks for that. So many of you asking what happens next here. Well, Fletcher's resignation takes effect on May 15th. Supervisors can either hold a special election to fill his district four seat or appoint someone. If they can't decide on an appointment within 30 days, a special election will take place. Chairwoman Nora Vargas says the process in the timeline will be determined during the board's May 2nd meeting.